It's not so hard to understand that peaceful, nonviolent protest alone accomplishes very little with regard to any substantial and durable political change, particularly when dealing with the necessary systemic upheaval of a violently entrenched socio-economic hegemony, as is manifested today in the financial terrorism of those philosophically misguided financial barons that control the world through a proxy system of centralized banking cartels. As long as you cling to the feeble hope that you could ever get the better of me, you'll be distracted from the more important things that have to be done. Which is exactly why I share the following with you. When we attacked your planet, all your soldiers and all their advanced technology could only put up a measly nine-minute fight before they were exterminated. Which is why man is an endangered species. Everything you humans knew is here. And you can look at anything you want. Because there is nothing that will help you. You are the weaker thing. Fight. Bag it hit. Bag it hit. Bag it hit. But I'm sure you'll find plenty of recipes on how to prepare a raw rat. <laughs> and I'm wondering whether the senator is familiar with the fact that the language which precluded the application of Section 1031 to American citizens was in the bill that we originally approved in the Armed Services Committee and the administration asked us to remove the language which says that U.S. citizens and lawful residents would not be subject to this section. Is the senator familiar with the fact that it was the administration that asked us to remove the very language which we had in the bill which passed the committee and that we removed it at the request of the administration that would have said the determination would not apply to U.S. citizens and lawful residents. <laughs> what happens if you stop paying your rent, J.C.? You'll be evicted? What does that mean? You'll be, will, you be, will you be physically removed from your house? Will somebody uh, come to your house with a... Right. Exactly. A sheriff will come with a gun under the threat of violence and force you to leave. Okay? There is pre-existing state violence. It's already there. So don't talk to me about wait until they act violently. Alright? It's already there. <laughs> Wake the fuck up. And if you think there's not, tell that to the peaceful protesters who are getting their fucking heads bashed in. Section 1031 of the National Defense Authorization Act, currently before Congress, would allow for the indefinite detention of American citizens by the military without charges or trial. When this adversary has everything to lose and nothing to gain by exercising justice and compassion, his reaction can only be negative. The man was a constitutional war professor, for fuck's sakes. And, and apparently never read the fucking document. God damn it, no wonder they kicked him out of that job and made him go become president. Because as president, you don't have to know the Constitution. It's really just a recommendation, a whiny, naggy document that you can't get to shut up, but you just try and ignore, like a poorly trained Jack Russell Terrier or Orion Seacrest. And I realize you might be thinking, well, I'm sure that stipulation only applies to hardened American terrorists. <laughs> Wake the fuck up. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. No excuse. Wake the fuck up. You gave an oath to secure my inalienable, unalienable constitutional rights. <laughs> wake the fuck up. Wait, 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 you yeah, wait, wait the fuck up. You can play the, the police authority game with you if I'm you want to. Game, and I'm letting you know. Where is your delegation of authority order from Congress, certifiable and in writing on the public record? Where is your affidavit of fact? Where is your affidavit of fact? The very language which we had in the bill which passed the committee, and that we removed it at the request of the administration, that would have said the determination would not apply to U.S. citizens and lawful residents. Wake the fuck up. So arm in arm with arms, we got to fight this little struggle, for that's the only way we can overcome a little trouble. You can take my belligerence away from me when you pry it from my cold, dead hands, you cock.